Other ways that code can get maliciously loaded is by DLL sideloading. There's one particular group that was pretty well known for doing this, and this was uh, coined as Cloud Hopper uh, by PwC or APT10, um, also known as. And there's all these known security tools, and they focused on them because one, I mean, it's a legitimate tool. When you're loading an application, there's something called a DLL search order, and what will happen is when you're when you're loading the application, usually what will happen is it tries to load the DLL if it's like right next to the application. And if it's not there, then it has like a known search order that it's going to look through. And it might be like, you know, starting at C Windows System uh, 32 and some other folders and just kind of look at all these various locations until it finally finds that DLL and then it loads it. But there's a higher preference for, you know, the DLL being right next to it or somewhere else uh, higher in the in the search order. And so they figure out what the search order is, they make sure the DLLs, their DLL is gonna get hit first and that gets loaded and then the malicious context occurs instead. And so they targeted a whole bunch of different things, um, various McAfee applications, uh, VMware applications, um, you know, just a whole bunch of them. And they crafted all these different DLLs and these DLLs would do other things like reconnaissance or, um, you know, just offloading files or whatever. Um, and so the way that we saw it was there were some McAfee applications and then uh, all of a sudden you see them like redirecting into a file. So we had, we had EDR, we can see this happening. And so it gets very curious, like why is this McAfee antivirus thing like redirecting into a file? What is that file? And you start digging in a little bit and you're like, oh, this is, you know, a list of passwords and, you know, other computers that are on there and all this recon stuff that they'd done. And so then you start looking at the application. What is it loading? What are the DLLs that are load being loaded? Oh, there's this one DLL that, doesn't look right. And you start looking at that and digging into it. And so here's an example of a McAfee application, MC console, which uh, some of these are, you know, system DLLs, but, but there was one DLL that was just a stub. It was console.dll and it had this function of DLL w win main. And basically it was just, you know, shell out whatever's uh, within that particular function. And so um, you can very easily overwrite it. Here's just a silly little DLL that's all it does is it prints out a message box. It's like here, I'm just seeing if I can bypass this DLL. And you know, sure enough, you do. So you run it, console.dll is right there within the search order, and this malicious, malicious uh, DLL comes out and uh, and basically that just shows how that works. <laughs> 